welcome. Today I'm going to be playing in my DIY wreck this journal. I'm going to be going outside, taking it outside with me and and doing some here. So let me bring you a bit closer so you can see. Old and new stuff. Do you want to do one? No, you can do one. Want to do the octagon? No, it's fine. You no, can do it. Are you sure? I'm happy to be behind the camera. But you do behind the camera so well. Well, you get lots of compliments about your. Ready is like, well, 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 are we going for a walk? <laughs> I know. I thought we'd going for a walk. I know, right? This is certainly more. Yeah, they're they're original. Yeah. But it, it's it's kind of alright. It's lovely, isn't it? Have I got that shape? Do you know what? It looks better in real life. <laughs> yeah, it does actually. That one looks that one looks better in real life. It sort of does. Uh, yeah, let's have a little reveal behind. That does yeah. not look like that. We've got texture we on have the got page. Some texture, definitely. Yeah, yeah. And it goes with the colour scheme. Yeah, in our wreck DIY wreck this journal. Get yourself comfy, Freddie. Check out, check out the garden first. Right, let's go to works in progress. What have we got? Oh yes, yeah, got some of the journals. I'm going to take my wreck. This journal, my DIY one, and I'm also going to collect my flower press to see, to check on the progress. Wonderful. <laughs> oh. Let's open the flower press that we took out and on our, on our travels with our DIY journal. Isn't this absolutely gorgeous? That was the Rose Bay Willow herb. Oh, yes. Oh, I remember that. We were doing some, yes, we were doing some jelly. I was with Nikki and Freddie, and we were doing some gel printing outside. Let's see if we can find the page. Oh, that's one of the gel prints. It is. This was one of the gel prints, like the reverse when you put the paper on the top. Oh, and Shirley said she thought this looked like um, um, a, a mother having a baby. Isn't that gorgeous? The lovely seeds of hope of a baby. I love that. And here's the actual Rose Bay Willow Herb. It's got the black acrylic paint still on it and but it's pressed and dried and preserved so I'm going to put that on this page I'm going to use just I use PVA glue which is uh, Mod Podge or use the glue of your choice you can water it down a bit I, I just don't tend to water it down original page was just a piece of painty paper that I put in. I'm going to put plenty of Mod Podge there. And there's our memory. Oh, that was wonderful. Oh, what a wonderful time we had. And then I'm going to cover it on the top with a generous amount of PVA. I love the fact that it's, I can't see it now, you will when it's dry, the, it's still got the black acrylic paint on it. Wonderful. Oh. Now that is going to take a nice long time to dry, so that will just give me an 
extra time to relax and do some more creating. Can you see how relaxing it is? Spreading the glue. I don't need to do this much, but I'm enjoying it. I make myself a list of, of ideas and things that I could I can um, do with my journal and tick them off. Ah, and now to do some prints with the feathers. I've given them a little wash. Well, not a little wash, a little wipe. I've given them a little wipe. Oh, there we go. Let's put some paint down. Actually, I think for the printing bit, you want a little bit more. When you pull it, you don't need as much. There we are. Lovely. I'm not wasting it. I can roll it off on my book here. Oh, that's lovely paper. Makes lovely painty paper. Let's just lay the feathers on. With the spiny bit down, so I get a good print. Maybe that one too. Not quite sure what I'm doing here. I've got the quick print paper and it's tea stained on the other side. Let's just do that. Oh, wonderful. I love this because you just don't know what you're getting. Oh, lovely. And, oh, wonderful. Let's take the feathers off. And I'm going to lay those on there. Oh, they're lovely. Lay those on there, like that, and see if I can get any of the paint from the feather at the back. the other side. Oh, wonderful. A wonderful addition to my, to my wreck this journal. I need to let this dry now and then I'll pull that up. I've got this little, this beautiful bloom from the orchid in the kitchen. Isn't that gorgeous? It just had finished its life and it's just fell off. So I'm going to try and preserve it in all its delicate beauty. Look, little curly bits. Oh, there we are. I will be finding more, more leaves to press on our travels. This one's not dry yet, but I just want to have a little play really. Let's see, because it looks a bit plain round here, so I don't know whether I'm gonna mess it up, but as we say, it's play. Oh, the blue, I'll just add a little bit of purple there. Because these other feathers are dry, so 
Oh, lovely. Wow. Oh, that's gorgeous. Roll that off in a minute. Let's just pop another feather just there. Yeah, the spiny bit down. Oh, this is fun. Because it's things that you found along the way and and of course just there is no right or wrong. Oh, lovely. I've just rub that down like that. And again we'll let that dry. Oh, take a nice breath. Mm. Mm. Sipping the last of that tea. Make myself another one. Oh. Pull that back. Just getting just some more colour on there, really. And let's lift those off. And they will have left some more feather marks, filled it up a bit. Oh, I noticed the blue feathers gone from there. I pulled it up on here. Ah, there you go. Fun experiments. So let's, let's do that again. Just in the middle. So I don't, there you go, let's pop it down again and get another print off there and I think this time I won't pull it with paper because I'm, I will, I'll just push it down with my fingers because I'll pull these off. <laughs> I've learned something there. Of course that was going to pull. Ah, oh, I love it. Mm. I'm quite new to jelly plating. I think the more you do, the more you pick up along the way. There we are. I've got a lovely print there and that I will let dry. And Yeah. Oh, look, I'm just getting these blobs. Lovely. That I will let dry. Hmm. Thoroughly before I pull that. Oh. Irresistible playing, isn't it? A little jar of honey all the way from Greece, from Molly's mum, mum and dad. Mm. Oh, looks lovely. Such a nice little picture now. Mm. All right, let's see if this is completely, yeah, this is completely dry because it's, the dishwasher's going, it's nearly time for me to make the dinner. So when you're pulling it up, I have learned from others as well that you don't put much on. Maybe I need more than that. Let's have a look. So you can sort of see the pattern can see the pattern of the feathers through that. And I'm going to put that on, put it on fairly quickly because it dries quickly. Let's just use a candle as a, this is called burnishing, a burnishing tool. I'm going around the edges first because they dry first. Off. 
này oh, I'm really pleased with it if you look closely you can really see the feathers there oh I love that I'm going to use this one as an envelope to send people happy mail and I've got the other one as a memory in my in my DIY wreck this journal. <laughs> I've enjoyed my my journey this week. Oh, thank you for joining me. It well for joining us. It it yeah. It's been fun. It's fun to experiment, isn't it? Yeah, not always about the finished piece because seriously looks like a hot mess this this book but <laughs> oh, it's a glorious hot mess mm -hmm. mm. what's on Flo's desk this week thank you so much Christina I absolutely love the vintage stationery oh she's very like Holly Hobby isn't she Oh, it's so lovely. She made you a little journal and one for you to fill in. Oh, look. Oh, I love the tea cosy. You'd like one like that, wouldn't you, Flo? Oh, it's shaped like a pear. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. Stitching and slow stitching, fabric, oh, it's got it all. Thank you, Gypsy Rose. Friends, oh, look, fairy friends, fairy cousins, oh, Gypsy Rose, it's beautiful. Thank you so much. I love it. There's a tape down the side and you've got one to decorate here. Shall we look at one of these autumn ATC coins from from last year? Two and a half inches round. Beautiful little pieces of art. Oh, how lovely. Absolutely lovely. So much going on. Oh, I love the little tiny doodled leaf border. Beautiful. Eighty sequins swap, Sherry Van, September 22. Thank you, Sherry. Oh, wonderful. I will put that on there for some autumn inspiration or fall inspiration throughout the week. How lovely. Hmm. Oh, shall we light the candle? Now the candle is just a little bit of time just to take a breath and focus on ourselves and focus on others too You are not alone. Take good care of yourself. See you next time. Bye.
brilliant. Harry Potter. Oh, I love it.